truly J Smoothie. And before we get started, shout out to Damar Hamlin. Get well soon, my dude. That was some scary ass shit to witness. But anyways, folks, we move on to week 18, Saturday. Chiefs and Raiders, we gonna go with the Chiefs there. The Raiders are preparing for next year. And hell, Derek Carr is now sitting on the bench, which means Derek Carr won't even be there no more. That's a sad sight to behold. Derek Carr, you done. Uh, the Chiefs are not, though. They're going to win this one. Uh, Titans, Jaguars. Jaguars are going to win that division. The Titans are throwing out Josh Cribbs. And at this point, it's just Derrick Henry or nothing for them. So they're finished. Jaguars going to win. Sunday. Buccaneers, Falcons. Let's go with the Bucks. Falcons, get ready for next year. You know, get, get Ritter some more reps. He can consider this an experience year and continue the rebuild. Bills Patriots, this is tricky because even though that game last week was thrown out with the Bills, uh, they're going to come in pretty emotional in this one, and they're probably going to be inspired to play for DeMar Hamlin. Uh, so you know what? Go ahead and give me the Bills. They're favored by 7.5 points over the Patriots. Says everything you need to know, despite the tragedy that went down. Vikings-Bears, we're going Vikings. The Bears, <laughs> they're, they're going to lay down and try to get a high draft pick and continue to rebuild for next year. Vikings... They're going to go to the playoffs, but I, I sense a one-and-done scenario here. Uh, first playoff game they have, whenever that is, they're going to hold an L. ravens Bengals. Bengals are going to come in inspired as well. Uh, the Ravens are going to come in with Tyler Huntley, a quarterback, and Lamar Jackson still on the bench. Uh, and that pretty much solidifies the Bengals' win. Now, if Huntley is playing in the playoffs and not Lamar, you can definitely count on the Ravens going one-and-done there. <laughs> so we're going to Bengals. Uh, Texans Colts. Ooh, this is a terrible game. We're gonna go Colts though. Jeff Saturday is gonna go on to the W. The Texans are gonna hold on their spot uh, and get a top draft pick. But even so, both these teams they they had a rough year, rough go with it, and uh, better luck next year. And hopefully the Colts actually get a, co a coach next year because Jeff Saturday out of the ESPN studio, that ain't it. Jets and Dolphins. We're gonna go with the Jets for the upset. The Jets. Um, they're not going to make the playoffs. Once again, falling short, but they're going to they're they're going to end strong. You know, this was one of their better seasons. There's a lot to build on. At least you learned that Zach Wilson is not your answer at quarterback. Uh, but you still have Mike White, and then you have the other dude. I don't even know his name. Uh, so you have plenty to look forward to in the future. Dolphins get to a back because uh, <laughs> all I got to say is, if you go to the playoffs, it's going to be a rough ride for you. Uh, Jets in a in an upset there. Well, they're favored, but it should be an upset in my opinion. Uh, Panthers and Saints. We're going to go with the Panthers, man. The Saints have it on the decline. And to be honest, the Panthers have actually looked kind of good. And uh, the Panthers aren't going to do anything in the playoffs. They're not going to make any damage. They're not going to do any damage, but at least we can see Steve Wilkes win one more game and make Matt Rule look even more dumb than he already looks. So give me the Panthers in an upset. Browns and Steelers. We're going to go. Oh, boy. This is a bad game, but we're going to go with the Steelers anyway. And the Browns, they won because they beat uh, a Raven squad who doesn't have their MVP. Uh, and, the, and the Steelers, well, rough year for them. Maybe they get into the playoffs by the skin of their teeth. But even so, uh, been a rough year for Mike Tomlin and the gang. But at least they're starting to turn around. Kenny Pickett does need a lot of work, though. A lot of work. So we're going to go with the Steelers. Chargers and Broncos. Oh, boy. We're going to go with the Chargers. I mean, the fact that the Broncos are only favored by two is kind of weird to me, so we're going to go with the Chargers. Probably going to sit some people, I imagine, for this game, but even so, uh, no matter who they sit, the Broncos are not good enough. They're they're suiting up for next year. They're going to find a new coach, and they're going to find a way to let Russ cook somehow uh, because Nathaniel Hackett was not helping them. Let's see. Giants and Eagles. We're going to go with the Eagles, of course. Actually, no. Well, yeah, yeah, we're going to go with the Eagles. Giants are in the playoffs, of course. They're going to rest their people, as are the Eagles. But even with rested starters, I think the Eagles are better. Uh, 49ers will be the Cardinals, of course. Cliff Kingsbury should be fired. At least I'm hoping so. At Texas Tech, offense with no defense, bringing it to Arizona. Bad idea all around. He tried to be Chip Kelly, and he tried to be Urban Meyer, and it just didn't work. Uh, 49ers, well... Hey, you got Brock Purdy, maybe he'll help you out in the playoffs. He might do something. Or maybe the Mr. Irrelevant rookiness will show. He'll choke 
And then next year you can consider, well, you can think about whether you want him, Trey Lance, or you want to bring back Jimmy uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, considering he's still busted up. Uh, and as for Trey Lance, that man's busted up too, but you got more of a future with him than with Jimmy. Uh, but even so, give me the 49ers. Uh, Seahawks, Rams, we're going to go with the Seahawks here. Rams are gearing up for next year. Uh, and at this point, I mean, they could play spoiler, but even so, this was not their year. They're going to gear up for next year. Cowboys, Commanders, give me the Cowboys. Oh, the Commanders choked when it mattered the most. They learned that Heineke isn't the answer at quarterback. They learned Wentz isn't the answer at quarterback. And they're going to start Sam Howell for this game. Uh, I'd say this was about a good six, seven weeks too early or too late. Uh, I don't know why Washington was delusional enough to think they'd make the playoffs because this is what they do every year. Uh, they pretty much go down to the wire and they choke when it matters. Uh, so we're going to go ahead with the Cowboys in a beating. And then, of course, the final Sunday night game of the year. No more Thursday night, by the way. Final Sunday night game of the year. Lions-Packers. Uh, as much as I want Detroit to win, it's still Detroit. Aaron Rodgers has survived by the skin of his teeth despite one of the worst seasons statistically that he's ever had. Uh, and even so, his weapons are finally starting to wake up and start to click a bit. Uh, they will win here. They will knock off the Lions. But don't think the Packers are going to win anything in the playoffs. They're likely going to be one and done along with many other teams. So we're going to go Packers for the win here. So to recap, we're going to go Packers. Cowboys, Seahawks, 49ers, Eagles, Chargers, I guess, in an upset. Uh, we're going to go Steelers, Panthers in an upset, Jets, Colts, Bengals, Vikings, Bills, Buccaneers, Jaguars, and Chiefs. Easy work. Final regular season weekend before... The playoff round begins, and folks, this is your last chance to see your team if you're not going to make the playoffs until next season. For the rest of us gearing up for the playoffs, this is the last chance we're going to see our team in a regular season mode before they switch in the playoff mode where everything changes and everything matters more than what we witnessed for 18 weeks. But folks, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoy the games. I hope you all make some money. Once again, shout out to Damar Hamlin. Get well soon, my dude. As scary as that was, I am happy that the man did not die. That that was absolutely tragic. But good news is he's starting to breathe. He's going to slowly recover. And he'll get better. Will not play football again, if I had to guess. But at least he is going to get better. And that's all we can ask for. Uh, so folks, enjoy yourselves. Hopefully we have an incident-free football weekend this time around. And I will see you all next week for playoff money pick coverage. Until then, everybody, I am out.